Alright, I'm going to make a short video to explain like how to find uh how to find the values of n in the bi binomial topics. Okay, this okay this this one actually is for IGCAC and math also and this topic actually called binomial theorem. And then yeah, one of the students actually asked me just in case if the power is n, how how are you going to solve this kind of question? So I'm going to do a like quick demo and explain about how how to find the values of n. Alright, so in this question, given that co given that coefficients of x square in the expansions of one minus x bracket and bracket one plus half x power of n is twenty five over four, and then the question asks you to find the values of n. Okay, so because we are, we we do not know what is the power of n over here because yeah n can be n can be 10, can be 99, can be any values over here. But definitely in binomial theorem, the n cannot be negative. All right. And then most of the time, n is an in integer. n cannot be in decimal or fraction. All right. So yeah. So in order to solve this kind of question, so basically I will try to expand the, I will try to expand the n term first. I mean, I will try to expand about the this term. Right, because we want a coefficient of x squared, right? So in order to do that, I will expand this one first and then I will multiply the whole expansion with the one minus x. Alright, so yeah, so I so I'm going to do this one first. So one plus half x power of n. So if I expand this one, okay, so it's like this. The first one is one power of n. Okay, then plus and c one, and then I will have 1 power of n minus 1 and then half x power of 1 and then plus n c2 n 1 minus uh, 1 n minus 2 and then half x power of 2 and then plus dot 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 why i will stop over here is because because i want the x power of 2 only so if i want the x power of 2 i'm going to expand until i will get x power of 2 here of course, the next term I will get something related to x power of three, which I'm not going to use that, because later my whole expansion over here, I I'm going to multiply with one and negative x. One I multiply the x power of two, I can get a coefficient of x square, and negative x I multiply coefficient of x power of one, I can get x square. So there's no need for x cube. But when do you need to have the x cube? For example, the uh, the question like this, unless you need to multiple later something like uh you will need to multiple something like uh maybe uh two over x. Okay, maybe plus one. Just just a random example. So if you want to multiple two over x, definitely you need to have x cubed, right? Something x cubed multiple two over x. Then x and x you simplify, you can you can get a coefficient of x squared. Okay, just example la. This is just an example. If you have something like two over x, then maybe you need to for further expand this uh binomial, All right? So yeah, I'm going to stop here, and then go, and then I'm going to explain something about one, okay? But then this one be because here I'm I'm trying to show show you over here. So so basically I will write like this, but I mean, if if I do it myself. Okay, I I won't do like this because because of what because, uh, I'm so sorry about the notification, right? Because, okay, one power of anything you will get one. Okay, you can try to power of any power ninety nine one point five. You power anything is actually you will get one. So same thing to if one power of n minus one. Basically, this is one, and this is one. Why I will cancel it? Because one multiple any things over here is still the same things. I won't change any value here. Means the whole thing here is one, whole thing is here is one. So I don't care about one power of n minus nine 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 nine. It's still equals to one. Alright, so I will just assume it is one. Alright, so I will just cancel it out. And I will simplify my expansion here. And this is n c one. And then this is half x plus and c2 and then this one will be uh 1 over 4 x square all right i just square the both lah. all right and then plus dot 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 all right so now if maybe i change other color 
Okay, so if 1 minus x, I multiple with whatever I have here. I multiple with this one, right? 1 plus half x power of n. After I expand, actually, I get this one. I multiple the whole thing. This, this is half x plus nc2, 1 over 4 x squared plus dot dot dot. So I multiple the whole thing here. And then the question tells me is what? The coefficient of x squared is actually equals to 25 over 4. So I'm going to use this information. So in order to get the coefficient, coefficient of x squared, the 1 over here, I will multiple something to do with x squared because I want to get x squared. So 1, I'm going to multiple with this term. Alright. And then for negative x, in order to get x squared, I need to multiple with x, correct or not? I will multiple the whole thing here in order to get x squared. Okay, both also for me to do the x squared. But then later you see what I write. I won't include the x into it because I'm using the coefficient. Alright, so, so, okay, so come back something like this. The question tell me coefficient of x squared equals, equals to 25 over 4. By the way, what is the meaning for coefficient of x squared? Just in case you do not know, if today I say 7x cubed minus 5x squared, coefficient of x squared is negative 5. Means the number in front of x squared. Let's say the coefficient of x cubed in this case will be, negative, uh, will be positive 7. Means the number in front of the x cubed, called coefficient of x cubed. Alright, so this is just some basic information. Alright, so over here, so I will do the maybe do the green green color one first so that's me one i'm going to multiple with nc2 and then one over four x square i won't write the x square because i just want their coefficient all right so actually here i have an x square but then i only leave leave it like this all right then the second one if i take the second one uh, plus the negative x over here basically mean negative one all right mean I only take the coefficient. So I will take the negative 1, multiple, this term. This one will be nc1 half x. So I won't write the x because x times x, I actually get x squared already. So this all is a coefficient of x squared. I will get uh, 25 over 4. Alright. Then I, then, okay, now this is what you will need to solve. Alright, so the first thing is, of course, you will, you will need to understand about the formula for NCR. NCR, basically, the formula is N factorial over N minus R factorial and R factorial. Alright, so if you never see about factorial, <laughs> you're not going to do about this. And you're not going to know how to do this one. So I just a quick explain about what is factorial. Factorial, let's say I, I write a 7 factorial here. 7 factorial here basically means 7, you multiple until 1, but then the number... Uh, the next number will go to my, minus 1. Something like 7, multiple 6, multiple 5, multiple 4, multiple 3, multiple 2, multiple 1. Mean you keep on minus 1 and then multiple until 1. This is what the factorial will do. So, from here, so what I understand is if I do n factorial, what is the meaning here? Mean I will start from the letter n, and then the next one will be n, I will minus 1. And then the next one, you see... 5, 5 is 6 minus 1, right? Mean n minus 1 and minus 1 again, it will be minus 2. So it will be minus 3. It will, it will go forever un, until very, very big number. So how, how do we going to stop it? If I, if I want to stop after n minus 3, I just leave a factorial over there. Alright, this is how how we expand the n factorial. Of course, uh, I will going to teach you how, how to solve this sort of question using all this information. So... The one I can just ignore it because it's not important. So I'm going to expand about this one. So nc2, it will it become n factorial over n minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial. And then I have a 1 over 4 here, 1 over 4. Plus, okay, you have a minus here, so I will write minus. Negative 1, yeah, negative positive, get negative. 1, I just ignore it. So nc1, it will be n factorial over n minus 1 factorial and then 1 factorial multiple with half and then we get 25 over 4 all right okay so in order to solve the question like this yes of course you if you know how how to simplify you can simplify very fast but then i just like 
teach you some step-by-step -step one. Okay, I will expand the n factorial on the top here, and then I just want to make sure I will get the same thing with the bottom one, then I can simplify. So the top one, this one, the n factorial over here, I will do something like n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial. I will stop here. Why? Because at the bottom, I have n minus 2 factorial. Later, I can simplify. 2 factorial is 2 times 1. It's 2 multiple 1. Um, multiply 1, which is 2. Alright, the 4 I mount. I will mount multiple in, so maybe I can write a 4 here, yes. Okay, then here, this one and this one I can simplify. Then I'm going to do the same thing for for the second fraction here. This is n factorial, right? I will say n, multi multiply n minus 1 factorial, then I will stop here. Because at the bottom here, I will have n minus 1 factorial, I can simplify. 1 factorial, it just give me the 1, so I won't write the 1 here, but then 2 have to multiply at the bottom, so I will say times 2 equals to 25 over 4. Alright, then, yeah, then it will be very easy to simplify it. Alright, so the bottom here, 2 times 4, you get 8. So the top here, basically you will get n squared minus n over 8 minus n over 2 equals to 25 over 4. So they are called, they are uh, the lowest common multiply will be 8. So what I will do next is I just multiply 8 for every single one. I just multiply 8, multiply 8, multiply 8. So you just imagine 8 and 8 you can simplify. So you get n squared minus n. 2 and 8 you simplify, you left 4n. And 4 and 8 you simplify, you left 50. Then I just solve this simple equation. So n squared minus 5n minus 50 equals to 0. Then I will factorize this thing. Uh, I will say this is n, and definitely I will use 10 and 5. You know, I get negative 5, and it will be negative positive. So n will equals to 10, or n will equals to negative 5. And just now I say n cannot be negative, so I'm going to reject this about the negative 5. Right, so then, yeah, my final answer is n equals to 5. Alright, for this kind of question, yeah, it's not really difficult about how to find a coefficient. But then because you have the power in terms of n, so you, you, you have to know how to expand about something like nc2 or nc1. After you expand using the formula given, so you have to know how to simplify it. So after you simplify it already, yeah, it's just a quadratic equation and then you just factorize, you can easily get the values of n. Alright, yeah, I hope this video can give you some basic idea about how, how to solve this kind of question. Alright, anyways, if you have any comment, please post a comment on my YouTube or on my Facebook. Anyways, thanks for watching.